Exercise 13. You might say this would be a lathe product to machine. And so we maybe only need to draw up half, but we will in this case define the whole drawing. Select all elements so we can delete them. Please look at your CAD exercises document to so you can follow what we will draw up now by looking at exercise 13. The first line we will draw is a line from the vertical line at the start because we will define our reference point on the far left side in the middle. X value is 0 and and is minus 10. From there on we can draw a line from minus 10 up to x2 of 24. OK. We can trim this, these elements. And we move up to this line. Downwards on 24. And a horizontal line on minus 15. OK. And trim this. Our next element is the radius of 50. Of this radius we do know the center and the and the value of the radius so we can use the r coordinates function and we can enter a x value of 65 and if you take a closer look at your drawing the y value would be minus 8 half of 16 minus the radius of 50 which gives you minus 58 radius is 50 and you might want to start here up to here you can see if you look at the example our direction is not in order so we change this into clockwise arc and there's our arc we can trim these elements I would like to make this a little bit smaller by using the modify mode and we move on. You can see there would be a tangent line between between this R50 and our next radius, which is a radius of 72.5. The center of this radius is also available, so we move to our coordinates. Click on reset. Our x value is 115. And take a look at your drawing. The y value would be plus or uh, seventy two point five minus half of thirty is fifteen which leaves fifty seven point five the radius is seventy two point five and in this case we would have a direction of counterclockwise look at the example this would be in order OK, and between these two last arcs we would define tangent line. Click on tangent line function and there you have your tangent line. So actually we have drawn up half the profile now so we would be smart to mirror these elements. So we move to edit copy, edit paste, reset and in this case mirror the y values. OK, so there's our next profile. We could trim all these elements and this would leave us just the radius at the end so we deselect all elements, select our first arc and second arc, we move to radius and we would enter a value of 8 and click on OK. In this case you will see that Tensor will define a different radius than you would desire. So we'll move one back one step backwards and move back to radius 
and it seems as this angle is quite sharp that tensor decides to define the radius in the other direction. To solve this problem you can always force tensor to move into a certain direction for the radius so you could say I would like my radius counterclockwise in this case click on OK and there you have your radius so there's your profile so mostly tensor will give you the right radius when filleting if not you can always move one step backwards and adjust by forcing tensor into a clockwise or counterclockwise fillet so try to do this exercise now and if you succeed in this move on to the next exercise